Happy 4th of July, fellas. Got email from Soldier. He says, wow, confidence kicker and seven steps. Apologies for such a long message. Hello, Player Supreme. My name is Daniel and I am from the UK. I've been listening to your free shows on this website for a while now and recently decided to purchase your seven steps and the confidence kicker program together. Soldier, that's a powerful package together. He writes, as I felt the need to take action. I was what was known in society as a shy person when it comes to approaching girls. Being 18, I want to get this shit handled as quickly as possible and I am already starting to see some changes. Thanks to your guidance and wise teachings in both of the programs. I made this YouTube account to thank and show you my support whilst keeping you updated to my progress. Very good. Thank you very much. Today was a very big day for me as I took to going outside and doing my 50 hellos assignment. I remembered everything you said in both the programs and just grabbed my balls and did it. You know what? It was a piece of piss after the first few. I had to slap myself afterwards, but or by the end of it, I was on such a high and feeling so positive. I noticed after listening to the meditation audio that when I wake up in the morning, I feel positive, by the way. And that's the first meditation program that comes with my seven steps. Okay, I have you guys listen to that for about 21 days to reprogram you and get rid of that silly nonsense fear that some of you guys are doing. He writes, by the end of it, I felt like the shit. The shiznit. As we say over here. Another thing I just want to quickly say is this past weekend, I was sick of sitting around my house, so you know what I did? Got the fuck up and went to the nightclubs. <laughs> now, although I didn't get any pussy, this was still a big thing for me as I relied on going with others before, but this time I took the initiative and listened to my inner pimp and spirit and went for it. Man, did it feel good. Before, I would have just pussied out. Now I can go to the clubs whenever I want and on my own terms. He is doing the work and he is doing the program. As I said, it's, what, it's the person who does the program and he is thoroughly committed. Are you? In conclusion, I have taken all of what you are saying on the board and I really take care of how I look and have been going to the gym for the past seven months since listening to your show and have already made a lot of changes and will book a consultation soon with your partner Jovina. Apologies if Jovina is spelled incorrectly. No, you actually got it right. Please tell me if you want me to make a slideshow video sh showing this change I have made in my appearance. Yes, that would be wonderful and I will put it on my show. And at the moment, it is still early days as I am on day seven of Confidence Kicker and just finished the assignment of step one, but am already seeing little differences in the way I stand and walk even, fellas. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. I fucking love this. When someone takes my material and makes it work and he's experiencing the changes. I was at the point of being fed up with this community and then I got this. Yes, this regrounds me and re innervates me. He writes, thank you so much for everything you have done. You are like the light in my dark tunnel of misery that I previously had in my life, Dan. Dan, I thank you very much for that email. To the other fellows out there, what are you doing to better yourself? Have you taken my seven steps program and my confidence kicker program? Look at the, the results he's getting. So if you haven't done it yet, it's now a 10 day program. Okay. I broke it down into steps and you get each step. Uh, I'm actually going to 
separate the days that you get material in the near future so that you have a couple days to finish each assignment. That's the only thing I didn't do was I give you one day. But I actually take into account, that's why it's extended 10 days, because I take into account that it may take some guys a couple days to finish things. But right on clockwork, you get the next assignment. So it's there waiting for you when you finish. But I think I'm going to spread out when that next assignment comes for about two or three days. That way you are totally finished with each step. But then there are some people that rush through it. And I don't want the rush through guys. I want the guys that will take their time to build the solid foundation in their game. That way you can go anywhere in the world and not have a problem. I don't care if you don't speak the language, you'll still know how to be a man and handle your business like a man and get a female. I'm very pleased with you, soldier. Very, very pleased. I don't even feel like doing another email, except this one is talking about my seven steps also. So let's see what uh, ZBiz has to say. Truth or misunderstanding? I've been following this stuff for a while and done more field work instead of practice and learn more by my own. And this is some stuff I've been thinking on and just want to make sure that I haven't done some misunderstanding. Thanks to your seven steps thing, this have become much clearer. Being a player is not only about fucking women, but also about another perspective, right? Exactly. It's actually learning how to, to play life. You know, if you think of life as a game, and I know some people don't like to think of life as a game. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't care. Think of life as a game, and you want to play life. Okay? Because a lot of guys, they don't play the game of life. They sit to the side. They stay on the couch. They don't do shit. They don't get out there and play the game of life. Uh, he writes, you can't be a player without knowing how the world actually works. That is where geeks and nerds are actually failing. Exactly. But you know, the smarter guys who are left brain, they're conditioned that way. Okay? You know, that's how the school system is set up. If you study the school system, it's based on the training of rats and rabbits. That's how they develop the system of school. That we have the, the grades we have now, first, second, third, and all that. That was successfully done to train rats and rabbits. So it's no wonder why we have rats and rabbits as men these days. Which are you, fellas? Which are you? Are you a rat that kind of hides in the dark? Or are you, are you one of those scary rabbit types? Let's go on with his uh, message here. If you don't have a clear view of the world, then there is no reason to struggle with something beyond your knowledge. Women want men that know what they're throwing themselves into. They want men that can think by their own. That part's true. You know, basically a successful kind of male. Uh, I, guess, I, I, I hear like a, a million brains going off right now. But what about bad boys and thugs? They can think for themselves. That's why they're like that. They're rebels to society. Okay? Use your heads and think. They want men that can think by their own. Men that hasn't read an article that tells how to get a woman by following a number of steps. Ain't this the real truth about the lack of players and the growing number of geeks? Men are forgetting what the fuck a woman actually is. And many are such dumb fucks that they cannot even talk to a woman. I mean, people are watching your shows, reading your books, etc., etc., but there are still men that can't talk to a girl on their work site without needing a computer where they can chat instead of. Instead, it's just disgusting. And many of those that watch your shows and read your books will fail or will fail or not know what the fuck they are doing. Not if you're reading my books because I tell you what to do, okay? And not if you're actually paying attention and watching my show. So that point I disagree with. Because they won't use their own minds to learn and just take stuff for granted and counting with, 
that you are there to tip them off with what they do like forever. Yeah, I won't be there forever. Uh, there actually are a lot of guys who have grown from just reading my books, as you just guys just heard, and watching my shows. Uh, there are still some people that stay stuck on stupid, and that's because those are the pickup artists who come here. They try to get some ideas and techniques to mix the two together. It's like mixing apples and oranges. It's like actually mixing ground beef. That's PUA stuff, ground beef and prime rib. Okay? The two don't mix. So that's what causes some of the people some issues, as I've said over and over again. As I bust a lot of people who sent me emails on, you know, you're trying to mix and match here. And you can't mix and match the truth with falsehood because that just tanks the truth. I have to be the bearer of bad news and give you guys the real truth of the caste system in the game and the dating stuff. And, you know, I hate doing it, but I, I'm going to give you guys the truth about it. I'm not going to lie to you and say, yeah, you could be 5'2", fat and balding. But you could date that super hot chick over there. Just apply my seven steps. No. It's going to take more than that. It's going to take total reconditioning of yourself. Changing you from a fat man to at least a man who looks like he can handle himself. Okay. Then a whole lot of confidence building. Then you have a chance of get talked to that six foot tall model. But by then, I have hopefully awakened you to the fact that you look stupid. Being having your woman way over you. By then, your balls will have developed, your masculine side will develop, and you'll realize, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want to look up to a woman like I'm a little boy. I really get someone my own size. And you'll wisen up to that nonsense that guys who are that small do. It doesn't make you a big man. It doesn't make you look like a big man in other people's eyes. That's your own ego selling you on that trip. That's your own insecurity. That's what they wake up to. So I give you guys the truth, and that's my goal. Okay? Happy 4th of July to those of my brothers here in the States, and have a happy holiday, fellas.